Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hopkins plug-in simple vehicle wiring harness with a four-pole flat trailer connector. This product fits certain years of the Chevrolet Captiva Sport. You can use the vehicle fit guide located at eTrailer.com to ensure that this is a fit for your vehicle. It's going to provide a four-way flat connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. This is compatible with five-pole, six-pole, and seven-pole adapters. Adapters are sold separately. And it does come with a dust cap for the four-way flat connector. That way you can cover up the connection points whenever your plug's not being used. The black box is the included taillight converter. This ensures that your vehicle's wiring matches out of your trailers. The powered module connects directly to the vehicle battery through the wiring to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. Now this unit is designed to connect quickly and easily. It does come with detailed installation instructions. They're going to help walk you through that process step by step. But basically what you'll need to do is locate your connection points. Those are going to be in the rear cargo area. And plug in your connectors. The connectors with the yellow wiring go to the driver's side. The connectors with the green wiring go to the passenger side of the vehicle. So locate your connection points, plug these in. These plugs are going to match up perfectly with the ports on the vehicle. And they're going to snap lock together for a nice, tight, secure and fit. So once you get those done and those connected, you can make your ground connection. It's going to be your white wire, has a ring terminal pre-attached to it. You want to get that grounded to a suitable grounding location with the included grounding screw. And then you'll need to mount the converter box to a nice out of the way location. It's got a mount located on each side. That way you can get it secured out of the way using the included cable ties. Next you'll need to run the hot lead to the vehicle battery. That's the red wire coming out of the converter box. It's got a butt connector on there. This attaches to one end of the bundle of wiring. The other end of the bundle runs all the way up to the vehicle battery and gets connected to one half of the fuse holder here at the butt connector. The other half of the fuse holder gets connected to the positive post of the vehicle battery. It's got a ring terminal pre-attached on there. And then the unit also comes with your uh, 15 amp fuse. It goes directly in the fuse holder. It's got the cap that goes over to keep it safe and protected. Once you have that done, you can secure any excess or slack in the wiring with the included cable ties. And then your four-way connector is going to be stowed beneath the vehicle near the trailer hitch. We do recommend using a mounting bracket to keep the connector secure and easily accessible. Mounting brackets are sold separately. It's also recommended that you use a small amount of terminal grease on all your electrical connections, like the plugs on the vehicle and the four-pole connector itself. The grease is going to help prevent corrosion to the terminals, and the packet of grease is included with the kit. When it comes to the maximum amperage for the stop and turn lights, we're looking at 3 amps per circuit. For the tail lights, it's 6 amps per circuit. That's going to do it for today's look at the Hopkins plug-in simple vehicle wiring harness with the four-pole flat trailer connector. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.